Five out of the ten biggest political donors in Scotland have given money to Nicola Sturgeon's Scottish National Party, it has emerged. The exclusive donations were made over the past decade, but have since dried up and the SNP is hoping there will be a turnaround as it gears up for another second independence referendum campaign. In the past three years, the SNP has not received donations from Stagecoach founder Sir Brian Souter and lottery winners Christine and Colin Weir, who died in in December. The SNP had 125,482 members as of December 2019 and relies on their contributions to keep afloat, according to analysis by The Times. More than 80% of the £4.7 million brought in by the party is from its members and supporters, including £2.2 million in membership fees, according to the SNP's 2018 accounts. A source said the minimum £1 that party members can pay a month quickly becomes enough to keep the party going in peacetime and build up reserves for a campaign. Senior figures said the SNP has stopped approaching high-profile individuals for large sums of money who would have previously handed over five or six-figure sums into the nationalists' coffers. However the pro-independence party is hoping for a resurge and is confident previous donors will offer generous contributions again. A senior figure told the newspaper, when we need their money these people believe very passionately in the cause and there is no debate that they would contribute. SNP last received individual donations of £250,000 each from Mr. and Mrs. Weir in April 2017. Ms. Sturgeon has been accused of spreading mixed messages and promoting a nationalist agenda during the coronavirus crisis. Critics claim Ms. Sturgeon is trying to usurp the authority in Westminster by breaking away from the UK-wide strategy to tackle COVID-19. This comes despite the First Minister announcing her party had been forced to con plans for independence to instead focus on fighting the coronavirus pandemic. The SNP blamed the coronavirus for finally calling off plans for a second independence referendum, with Scotland's Constitutional Relations Secretary Mike Russell writing to Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove saying planning for another vote has been paused to focus on the unprecedented impact of the invisible killer disease.